Here we are, the next video, trying once again to win in this fight to see if I'm still getting that weird fight. Look, I don't know, are there seven fights? Are there 14 fights? We'll find out. We're doing our best here, guys. I do have regrets. Um, I don't think I'd made ch bad choices in the draft, you know, um, but again, what your early choices affect your later choices, so maybe I did. Uh, anyway, this is a five drop that I'm not really looking to keep. This is a five drop that I do like, but I'd rather any spell or a three, four drop. Yeah, that's fine. That gives me an opportunity to do stuff. And I'm on the pass, and I have a really good defender, and they did not lead with an action. So, I will take my opening round and punch him in the face. Now he'll play a creature. That is a 2-3 supported ally plus 2 plus 0 for this round. Uh, I'll play this because it is incredibly likely that one, I draw something I can cast next turn, and two, he plays something pre-combat to allow me to force this trade. I just don't necessarily want this guy laying around. Nope, I was wrong. I am Dobbs. I'm going to take a ton of damage this turn. Oh, I guess I have this effect. So this is getting barrier, and then this is going to be a bigger creature. Are you naturally elusive? Yeah, you are. Alright, well... I'm not interacting with that. Doesn't feel good about it, but, like... It's saving me a little bit more than, than two damage, you know, or four damage. What is this? Oh, shit. That's not good. Uh, I just got played. Oh well. Let's see what happens. Well, the good news is... Uh, I don't have to do anything. The bad news is we've now run into a problem that perhaps I could have addressed by having some more low-cost minions? What is this going to do? <sighs> yeah, I know. I just don't want this card around. And I'm going to just force it to trade. I lost a little bit of damage. I could have done more, but I feel like controlling that part of the board, like my entire hand is five drops. I need to sustain a little bit better. He's about to shove for six. Um, Vanguard Cavalry can only do so much. Like this, he's smart enough. Like he's been playing very well. He's going to shove immediately. There's no way he plays pre combat. He's not giving me the. Like that's, I guess, the only thing you could justifiably play pre combat to guarantee the six damage, but now you're just trading that creature for me, right? Look, you're doing the six damage, but you just threw this creature away. I guess he didn't know that. I, I guess it was a fair, like, off-the-cuff value trade, so I'm not salty about it. Uh, we're going to have to figure something out, though. Alright, I have a four-mana save spell. We can't afford to do this. I'll pass. No one ever takes the effort to... Okay, that's a Fiora I have to interact with, I guess. Uh, let's... Let's do this onto this. I know a lot of people are going to like think, like, well, Fiora is really great. Uh, I'm going to lose this fight because he's playing... Like, I already know I'm losing this... I'm losing not because he has Fiora. I'm losing because he has gotten a very early aggression state going for me. And I'm pretty confident. Who are you ripping? Him, right? 
Like, I will even money trade these two. No, no questions. What is this? Three out and barrier. Great. Uh, okay. Well, cannot add more blockers. What? What? Alright, well, first of all, yes, I can. And second of all, I need to stabilize a little bit. So... Oh, I'm not going to gain life because I'm not going to do damage. Damn it. I forgot. <sighs> so he kills the creature that's doing damage to me. And then she does five damage. So no matter what, he's dead. And then this trade happens. Okay, but like, I don't think that was as good as you think it was. Like, yeah, you got a plus on her ability. I don't know. Maybe his hand is just full of nonstop, infinite, ridiculous value. Uh, there is no world we are not slamming down a two mana five five here. And whatever he does, I don't care. I'm playing Lauren Chevalier and killing this this chick. Like we are we are doing our best to kill her on my turn uh, and round. Uh, one and two and three. And I can get through a lot with this. Add barrier to now I just run that's a great that's great. What is this gonna do? Plus three plus seven barrier. <sighs> Defensive is still better. So yeah, I just I'm playing the attrition game with him and I'm winning. How did I get this? Um oh, thank you. End round. Like, that rips there, right? Uh, I'll play this guy. Because you have to have a spell to make the trade. She has to do... What's that going to pull? Him? Him? Really? Interesting. All right. But you're using a spell. So I get that she revives here like I get she's bigger but she still dies on my turn unless you exactly rip a spell and I am greedy enough to try it um like you Like, I have to kill her right now. So I'm just going to go ahead. Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll force that. There's no reason to. You have to have a spell that buffs her. Like, there's no out. It was draw or lose. Cool. Thank you. Good card. I'll play a giant karma. That was like incredibly aggressive play, and I, like as someone who plays the Fiora combo deck, I'll tell you, it is not a race to sneak in Fiora victories. It is a a marathon to make sure she's protected, so you don't need to aggressively sort it over. Aww. Okay, so this is a hard win at the first round of a fight. Uh, so let's see if it's forcing me again to do another round, or if that's just what happens if you lose. Karma for Zed. Do I want a Zed? Uh, no, I want... Uh... 
Yeah, that's actually a fine trade. Back to back has been a blowout every time I've done it. And that Zephyr Sage was just kind of cute, but I think it cloned a twin thing and I was already ahead. So eh, it helped, but like, I think it's a better line. Oh, another trade pick. Uh, do I want to get rid of this amazing card for... No. Do I want to get rid of Vanguard Squire for an assassin? Yep, I do like the cards that replace themselves. I will take that. I have a third trade pick. Standalone versus draw a card if something happens, or garbage. Reinforcements is too expensive. Fey Blade Twirler? When you stun or recall a minion, that's never going to happen. So we'll skip that trade. Uh, final battle. Okay, so I don't know what's happening, but apparently you, if you lose a fight, you get a chance to redeem yourself. Um, and I assume it happens at every point, but this is the final battle. Uh, so let's see what happens. Stop it. Now you stop. Everyone has to stop it. This is crazy. All right. Opening hand. One drop. Great two drop. Great three drop. Yep. Uh, I will replace her for hopefully a... Yep, that's great. Hand's great. Everything's great. Feeling good about this. I am on the play. Oh, no. I pass. Unfortunate. Well, the good news is... <sighs> um, I'll tempo it out. I gotta set something up next turn. Or a shadow shift. So, I'm about to do something incredibly stupid. I'm putting 100% of my, st my stuff on this working right here. This is 100% uh, I'm going to throw the entire game if he has anything to do. Mm. That, is, that is it. That is the end of the game. He's won. I did not assume he had a card that I should have known he had, because it's a great card. <sighs> this Elise is about to flip. Oh, start of round. Okay, it might not. Again, I just need to not let Elise kill me. Because when she flips, all spiders have. So I'm going to block. Do I just... Wait, can I not block him? I can't block Elise. It doesn't matter if I block. So... There's what I want to do, and what I'm going to be able to do. If I had that 2 mana 3-2, I could do both and kill the Elise right now. I do not. The round's going to turn. This Elise is going to flip. I'm going to be sad. This is unfortunate. I wish I could give you a better game than I did, but I couldn't. Oh, I could still kill. Mm, yes, I can. Okay. Not even pretending... Like, this isn't the play I'm making. Like, I, I went all in on that strategy, right? Like, I, I can't not do it. And then 
this guy. I could do both. Okay. So we'll go ahead and draw Shadow Assassin. And then we'll swam Vanguard Defender. I still think I'm completely dead. But now there's a chance that they went all in because they had to. Um, like, I, I'm still... like I'm at, I'm at functional 5 next turn to play me kill 2 allies. That's a 7-7. Seven, seven. All right. Did you know that you can get that card? You could play with that card for free. It's just a card you have. I do not think that I am going to do well here. I pretty much just have to stay ahead of the 7-7 seven, seven every turn. Uh, at least until a point where I could do something crazy. But like he's got too much value. Oh, it's another Elise. Dope. Mm -hmm. I'm just playing along. Look, it doesn't matter. I lose. Like, that 7-7 seven, seven is hitting me, right? Yeah. Well, that was fun. Um, you can, in fact, draft an amazing deck in this game. Uh, and next time, in my next draft, I will probably force uh, Shadow Isles, because every game that I got completely mollywopped was Shadow Isles. I have no problem surrendering here. Good fight. I got to the end. I don't know what it's going to give me for getting to the end. Uh, I very much would have obviously liked to get more, but... You've reached the end of your journey. Continue. Uh, trial 2. Oh, okay. Trial 2. Looks like I have another video series called Trial 2. Oh, we'll get to that after. Uh, thanks for watching. Uh, I'm sorry I couldn't end this on a strong victory, but... Some... Sometimes you play right into an Elise, sometimes you throw the fight at the beginning. Uh, I'm not great, I'm just good enough. Thanks for watching, guys. Take it easy.